Hi, First Baptist. I am in our fellowship hall today, where today is the first day of math tutoring for 2023 and 2024. I was just talking with Tila and Pam. We believe that we started tutoring 16 years ago. That means that the sixth graders who started uh, way back when, who were 11 years old at that time, are now 27. So just let that soak in a little bit and you'll see how long the duration of our tutoring is and how faithful these people have been. So uh, Pam and Tila, tell us a little bit about math tutoring and about reading tutoring, which starts next week. Uh, well, the math tutoring starts today, the 12th. And uh, we right now we have 11 students and uh, six of those are returning students from last year. We, uh, If a student that we have has good attendance and they need help in seventh grade, they are allowed to come back and help. So we have seven, six coming back, possibly one more. And uh, then we've got five um, sixth graders coming. But we're anticipating more with peer teacher conference being on Friday, so. So we may get some more. We hope to get some more, So yes. what kind of math are we teaching these young people, Pam? <laughs> Today will be decimals, adding and subtracting, and we'll also do some fractions, um, multiplication and division of fractions today. So, so how many math tutors do we have? We probably have around 23. Um, so math tutors. We do. Mm -hmm. So we got plenty of math tutors. We do. Well, let's shift a little bit to reading because this is our first year of tutoring for reading for third graders, is that correct? That's mm -hmm. correct. How, and that's going to be on Thursday, starting next Thursday, the, what is that? 21st. 21st, 21st. sounds right. So tell us a little bit about, about reading tutoring. Go ahead. We have, I think it's 26 tutors, somewhere mm -hmm. around 26 there. tutors. That's correct. Wow. around there. Mm -hmm. uh, these are students from Jackson, third grade. Um, they were the Kingsport City Schools providing material for us yeah, to be able sure. to use. And that way the tutors will get to take it home and look over it and read over it and kind of see. So they'll be a little more comfortable with it. Then. So when will we know how many kids we have coming? Uh, right now we know for sure that we have 13. 13? Right. Great. And, so, and these are third graders? Right. Wow. And from Jackson, this Jackson is our School. pilot year, so we're talking about you know, just doing it with Jackson right now, but maybe later on adding some other schools. And the uh, math students are from Severe, right? right. Correct, yes. So tell me a little bit about how you all see this as a ministry of our church. Well, I will tell you, I know that uh, of this 11 students that we have, only three of them are affiliated with the church. Wow. The rest, the rest do not attend church. And, and we do a devotional every week mm -hmm. and we give them Bibles at Christmas and inspirational devotional books at the end of the year and try to get them involved in Upward if we can. Mm -hmm. So there's a tremendous amount of ministry that goes on and every week I know you all pray for your kids. So what can, how can the church pray for you? How can they be involved? Is there something you need from the congregation? Well, prayer is always mm -hmm. the big support that we have and can and can use but if you're interested if anyone decides that they would like to try to give it a try we're not saying don't come please come mm -hmm. and you were talking i think the tutors that are with their students they are wonderful they they're last year i just watched so much the bond that came between because that was my first year for just watching i didn't i did not have a student and i but it's just amazing to watch. You can you can see the growth in the child and their confidence, but their affection and their love for their tutor. Yeah, I was just talking to one of our tutors who's returning and the, the child who's coming back asked specifically for that person to be their tutor again this year. So I think mm -hmm. that's a testimony to the yeah. power of the influence. Well, this Sunday we're gonna uh, begin uh, not tutoring, but we're going to begin a series of sermons on being a real Christian. And uh, we're going to talk about worry. Uh, that's a big issue for most of us, isn't it? Maybe we'll have a few ideas from Jesus on exactly how we can uh, at least postpone some of our worries, diminish some of them, and deal with exactly what Jesus expects us to do. So let's pray together. Lord, thank you for, for these who are tutoring Thank you for the students who will come here. I, I pray that our church will be a blessing to each of these young lives, that from this 
opportunity to learn about math or reading, uh, that from the examples given by our tutors, the devotionals given by our staff, the gifts given by our church, that each one of them will leave this place feeling like they are loved by First Baptist Church and ultimately loved by you. We thank you for the love that we feel through you and pray in Jesus' name. Amen.